Only on NBC 26. Tonight, we hear from a family we've been keeping up with since they started their journey fighting ALS one year ago. NBC 26's Juliana Falk shows us what this last year has held. A year ago, um, Jacob was Jacob, like the normal, the man I married, the father of our children. Running around in the yard with his kids and doing everything around the house. Now, you know, just one year later, he really can't <laughs> do any of that. On July 12th, 2018, Jacob Glazo and his wife Sheena received his diagnosis, a diagnosis that would change their family of seven forever. It's okay to guess what I'm starting to say. Jacob has Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS. I think change is our new normal. At just 37 years old, Jacob can no longer walk on his own. He uses a device to talk with some phrases in his own voice. Let's go, guys. And for their five children. We kind of presented it to them as we're going to stick together as a family. We need to do this together. We need to fight. We need to, you know, everyone's going to pitch in and we're going to we're going to make some awesome memories. We're going to take it one day at a time and and they've been amazing. Um, they've really stepped up, honestly. Jacob's stepdaughter, Ella, is 11. She says it's hard to see him unable to do a lot, but she feels good she can help out. We have to do a lot of stuff um, that we normally wouldn't do. And, um, like, I have to help um, with the kids more and, um, like, help mom out. Sheena tells us compared to others they've met with ALS, he's quickly progressing. If things keep progressing at the rate that they're at, I don't know what next year will bring. So they're making memories to last a lifetime. It forced us to do a lot of things that we had at one point said, you know, oh, someday we want to do this and someday we want to do that. From big trips like Hawaii and Jamaica to smaller ones like Bay Beach and the movies. We get to make memories um, and it feels good because um, we probably won't be able to do them when he gets um when it gets more severe. A bittersweet chapter in the Glasso's life. You always wonder if while you're making a memory, it's going to be the last time that you're able to make that memory. But for now, the Glasso's are looking forward as they fight ALS with a community standing strong behind them. I would just like to thank everyone for all of your support over the past year. In Reedsville, Juliana Falk, NBC 26. And a special event is being held for Jacob tomorrow at the Kellnersville Bar and Banquet. They're having a meat raffle and all the proceeds are going to the family. We have more information on our website, NBC26.com.